Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a little car check with y'all at my as I get ready to go charge my car and finish a little thing. So you know it's getting tighter and tighter. Only a few days left for um for you to vote to see which president you want in office. Or whatever kept whatever the case may be. So Lately, like these stunts, like all, I just wish all politicians, I'm not talking about just the left or just the right. I'm talking about all politicians. Why don't y'all just be honest with yourself about what y'all want to do and be honest with the people because clearly in some of these schools, especially public schools, when it comes to politics or teaching them how, you know, how things work with the branch of government, because you have, okay, you have presidents that's running and they say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. They not going to do shit unless it get passed through Congress. So they can run on whatever they want to run on. But when it comes to actually getting that done, they have to go through um, through the Senate and the House. It goes through the House first. Then if it get passed to the House, it goes through the Senate first. And then it lands on the um, president's desk to be signed. So when you get up there, when you have, have um, any any politicians, whether they run it for the state or Senate, anything like that, they still have to go through those processes for those things that they claim they're running on to get done. So if I'm a Republican, say if I'm a Republican um, politician, and I say I want to do X, Y, and Z. So say if I win, cool, I win. But say if the House is 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 democrat and the um senate is democrat which means that democrats have control over the senate and democrats have control over the house you know people will play dirty politicians games and just because they can and they might know that bill might be good for the american people but they won't do it because they don't want to seem like they don't want the other ones to get a win So it's just like, when y'all running on that, make sure y'all let the people know, hey, we have to go through this process. That's why we need to be raising up these seats to get these people in here so it would be a smooth transition when we trying to do this turn drag. They don't do that. This sun is bright down on me. It's beaming, Scotty. Should close my sun roof, but hey. You don't need to really look at my face. Just listen to what I'm saying. So, okay, you have people. The left feel like we shouldn't question Kamala Harris about anything. Because she's a black woman, quote unquote, black woman. And what do y'all want that other racist on the other side to win? No, it doesn't go like that. We the people deserve an uh, explanation or questions that we want to be answered from these politicians to see if we want to vote for them. I'm not just going to vote for them because y'all, y'all, they send their handlers out. And when their handlers come out, tell us what to do and we got to whip and stay in line. If, and if we dare to question them, we, we, we get, um, chastised back in, into our, in, into our place. Every politician should be questioned. Donald Trump should be questioned. Kamala Harris should be questioned. These people are supposed to work for us. We don't work for them. They work for us. And then a lot of people, they want to get mad. This is the crazy part. I send a couple of people like Jamil Hill and them. She's in the comment section. Even me and her done went back and forth for one time on the comment section. She's trying to tell me some shit. Like... Hold on, there's a few parts to that that I want to get to. 
somebody had questioned um well why she didn't do all that while she was present oh you don't know the branches of government she gonna be in the same branches of motherfucking government when she be the be the um if she be the president she's still gonna have to go through congress she's still gonna have to go through the senate and the state to get these get these bills passed she was not sitting this is my thing to those that think we're this motherfucking stupid which some of y'all niggas are stupid and when I say niggas, I ain't just talking about black folks. I'm saying nigga, I'm talking about everybody. I'm, everybody. Y'all motherfuckers is dumb as fuck. Because this is the thing. Your thing is, you must don't know the branches of government because she has to go through Congress and do this and that. Okay, she gonna still have to go through Congress and do all that when she come president. Not only that. Okay, duh. Some of us know that. Was she on the floor trying to fight with them? You know the vice president is, a, I mean, had, is one vote in the Senate? They, they're one person vote that they get cast in, in the Senate. So why did she work with Congress to get some of these stuff done? I never heard of her working through Congress her whole three and a half years or however long she's been vice president. Since 2020, I haven't heard of her working with Congress to get certain things done. We ain't even heard from the bitch. And you want us to just vote for her because she's black and Trump is this racist white man. And if he get in office, we going back in chains and all this shit. You you want me to um believe that motherfucking shit right there? You expect me to believe that dumb ass shit right there? But I know she's she gonna have to go through kind of like people like I think they misconstrued this. That, that is the most dumbest shit in America. She gonna have to go through Congress regardless. When did when did y'all ever know all these stuff that she's claimed that she want to do and this is that? She she I ain't never seen her on on a um on um on congress floors trying to fight for those different things we ain't even seen to heard from her since she said we made it joe so you want me to believe that she's going to do this and she's going to do that and that even goes for trump that's the same thing but i can honestly say with him the things that he was trying to push Congress was like they didn't want to let nothing go with him. Now that was just full. We we all seen that. We all seen with our own two eyes how they didn't want him to get a win on anything. And then it was never. No, I get that. I take that. I believe one of the terms he did have. Y'all fact check me. I don't know. I I believe one of the years out of his presidency that it was a Republican House and senate i believe if i'm not mistaken but they were still balanced but it just goes to show you that these people are fucking like these politicians they don't care about us they don't care about the america all that shit they be talking don't, 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 they don't give a fuck this is why you don't depend on the government the government doesn't run my household because i don't depend on the government for anything they don't run my household you see what i'm saying so okay Kamala Harris got pressured because Barack Obama came out and had a town hall and basically was telling black men, like chest has on black men, like y'all need to basically telling them you need to get it together and it's going to be y'all reason if she don't win. He didn't say those exact words. I'm just tweaking it, but basically that's what he was saying. I'm just interpreting what he was saying. That's what he was saying. So then you had a lot of pushback on, on people saying like, who is you to come out and try to scold black men about this, this, that? It's always when the Democrats don't win. It's always black women and black men fall. They don't ever blame Asians. They don't ever blame Jews. They don't ever blame nobody else. It's always niggas problems. It's always us. It's always we the reason why that happened with them. It's never nobody else fault when, when they lose. But we are the main ones when they do win, they don't do shit for us. So Kamala Harris was pressured about black men because they said she didn't have a policy for black men. She put out a, a she put out the most. What can I say? She put out the most. This is this is what they think of you niggas. So basically, she think with the black man that the black man concern is getting high off marijuana. And then when she added stuff about funding for black men and others, who the fuck is and others? Who in the fuck is motherfucking and others? And it's supposed to be 
something that you're writing up for black men, but in black men, you got and others. You put this out specifically saying you're targeting black men, but you added in. Who the fuck is and others? Like, be fucking for real. I mean, they she play in our face like it ain't nothing. Now, that bitch been practicing Hinduism all her motherfucking life. You ain't never seen that bitch in a motherfucking black church. But see, this is what's wrong with the black church. But the black church is, is coming to a fall. That's 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 a whole nother, nother thing. I talk about that probably on my personal channel. It, it's, it's a lot of prophecies coming out about the black church. The black, about church, period. It's a lot of falls about to be happening. And especially in the black church. The black church play in your face so many motherfucking times. I'm so glad the church I go to don't get involved in politics. Because if you if you going by if you're a Christian, we are supposed to go by the New Testament in the Bible. When they were trying to trick Jesus into saying something about um Caesar and his government said he said he he gave them I, mean, I think it was he gave a coin and said who on a coin I think they said Caesar he said pay was paid to Caesar and pay was due to God something like that y'all find out what scripture is basically saying whatever government deal with government how you gonna deal with government but pay what you owe to God so I'm, I'm so glad that my church does not get political because if she that bitch would have walked in my church I would have walked out and never came motherfucking back because listen I'm going in here to get the word of God I don't want to hear about no motherfucking politics when, when I'm in church and a lot of people say well you know you're supposed to get political it's nowhere in the bible only political in the new testament that I can think of is when they, they try to trick, trick him up on, on taxes and paying taxes and stuff to, to Caesar the, the government part I don't know nothing else in, in the um, new testament about that fact check me let me drop some verses down below to let me know if it's in the new testament where it talks about that the church is supposed to feed the poor feed the hunger open up your doors to, to kids different stuff like that not politically taking a side and on top of that you taking a side against what the bible said you're not supposed to be doing now you having people come in your in the lord's house using your big platform to push their views and a lot of their views is what in the Bible what they go against. You can't tweak God's word to make it best for you. See, I like a pastor that'll be to tell you the truth. This is wrong. But but we're not going to condemn you on this being wrong, but but just know that this is wrong. That's gonna be between you and God. You having pastors get up on a pool, bull pit and, and, and tweak different stuff like abortion. That That's one thing that, that everybody know. If you're a Christian, I'm talking to Christians. I'm not talking to any other religion because I don't know exactly how y'all religions go, but I'm just talking about Christians. Christians know that, 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 that um, having abortions is wrong. And just because you, if, if I believe, and I'm going by my Bible believing that ha having abortions is, is wrong, that's just my belief. But if I'm a pastor, I'm not going to let someone come and stand on my pulpit and go against the Bible for politics. See, a lot of these Christian politicians, a lot of these churches that Kamala went, Kamala went to, that's only for gain. If she get in office, they'll be tight. They'll get to come visit the house, the, um, the White House. They'll have perks coming with it. And they'll be her spiritual advisor. Like, she is Hindu. Why is she not saying anything about Hinduism? What, what she practice? She's Indian. That's her religion beliefs. So she's willing to scratch her religious beliefs just to tell you she was raised as Baptist. First of all, her father is Jamaican and her mother is Indian. Where the fuck did Christian Baptist come in at? 
where did Christian ba Baptist come in at? That you was raised on, but all your pictures when you was younger with your mama, you had on your little Indian outfits. I don't know what they call. I ain't trying to be disrespectful to, to their culture because I have respect for everybody. I don't care if I don't um, agree with you or not. But whatever the outfits they wear, you are, you are in those outfits with red dots on your forehead. So now you want, want me to believe that you was raised in a fucking Baptist church and you got these fucking goofy ass pastors letting you come say this shit in the Lord's, it's supposed to be the Lord's, but a lot of them houses ain't got shit to do with the Lord. They got to do with what remind me in the Bible when, when, um, when, um, when, when Jesus came in there was throwing, uh, uh, un throwing, not throwing, knocking over tables and shit because the shit they was doing in, in the Lord's house. A lot of this shit we watching is, is playing out in true time. But a lot of these higher ups, they're about to come falling down. All that stuff with Diddy, all that stuff with 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 um, and he been mighty quiet too. TD Jakes, and all these other folks. What? Mark my word. Mark my word. When you see this, <laughs> you will see what what I'm talking about. Like, quit playing on people top like that. Like, they think y'all, some of y'all are so stupid. And it, it, the sad thing about it, some of y'all are fucking stupid. Like, y'all dumb as hell. Y'all let anybody tell y'all and to make y'all believe anything. I wouldn't have had a problem with Kamala running if she would have just been herself. Not saying I would have voted for her. But just be yourself. You don't have to be this black woman. Then the bitch act. Let me tell y'all white folks, you know, y'all out here, we don't cook no motherfucking, we don't clean no motherfucking greens and no motherfucking bathtubs. Do not let that bitch tell you that motherfucking lie. So I want y'all looking at us, baby. We do not clean greens in our tub. That's probably some Indian shit she was doing over there with her motherfucking family. But niggas don't put greens in no motherfucking tubs. I won't give a fuck if we had 50 motherfucking boxes. Our hands used to be motherfucking hurting. Pull, pulling the, the vine out and, and cutting them off. We ain't putting no motherfucking greens in no motherfucking tub and to clean them. What was that? When was she on that one show, that cooking show, and she was telling you all of the meals that she weighs? She's Indian. She's not black. Like, this is the part... You never... If you was black, tell me why did you swear, swore yourself in? You lied on the Bible then. Damn, I didn't even think about that. You lied on the Bible. You lied on the You put your right hand of God and swore this and swore this and swore that. And you swore but down that you was an Indian. So now I'm supposed to believe that you black? And everybody said, y'all want to make it about a black thing? She made it about a black thing. She wouldn't want to come out and act like she black. And y'all mad at us because we saying the motherfucking truth? Because cause we not as slow as you think? At least not some, most of us? The lady is a hypocrite. The lady is a fucking liar. Y'all believe anything that lady say is crazy. And you, this, she been in the hat for how long? Show me some stuff of, of her passing on the floor, her trying to write up bills, or her working with Congress to try to get stuff passed, these things that she running on. Because that's what she gonna have to do. I mean, she can go in there and write some executive orders, and then it's gonna get challenged. They're gonna try to challenge and her hold it up in, in, in court. It's just, just, just. <laughs> I'm telling you, like. And in Newburgh, you know, that's the that's the church where Eddie Long was at. The one he died, I think he died of cancer. But remember, he, um, he got he remember before he died, um, you know, he was messing around with with, with, with boys and stuff. This is the same church that Kamala was at. They got a new pastor, which is Jamal Bryant. His past ain't 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 what you think of it either. But I ain't gonna go there with that. Y'all gonna? I'm telling you, him making that spotlight. One thing about the right, they gonna dig up and find your dead dog that was dead 20 years ago. So they gonna have a field day out of that. You can look at her goofy ass in the church when the choir is saying she ain't even got no fucking rhythm. She clapping off beat, but she's supposed to be black. <laughs> Ooh, 
child. This is the stuff they play in our face on. This is the shit that we supposed to believe. Oh, but okay, this is my last thing, and I'm gonna let y'all go because I'm about to charge up my car. Alexis Scott came out. She had her she doing a press run for um a TV series she got coming out dating Alexis Scott, something like that. She said that she was voting for Trump. Oh my god, she got prosecuted, persecuted so bad to the point she came out and made a post and said she changed her mind she's not voting for trump because he she didn't hear what he said on the department of education i said you let these motherfuckers bully you the left both sides do this they bully you let people vote for who i have friends that's probably gonna vote for kamala harris i'm not down their throat i'm not mad at them I didn't stop being friends with them because they voting for Kamala Harris. That that is their prerogative. They can do that if they want to. Like, what are we getting at? What are we talking about? Why do people have to change their views? And they bully people. They bully you. They send the handlers out. The handler is trying to call her area. And she's dumb and she do this and she do that. And this is what they do. They know who to play with, cause they don't, I'm, baby, I'll be having time. If you try me, I'm telling you, I got a lot of time on my hand that I can easily cuss your ass out all over social media if you want to go there. Like it's crazy how you get bullied. If you are, if you a celebrity or anything like that, and you vote for somebody, you get bullied. I seen Usher campaigning for um, Kamala Harris. I just thought it was funny. I don't care about him voting for Kamala Harris that deep to the point. Oh, oh my God, I'm not listening to Usher music anymore and all oh, this, this, that. No, no, that's not how it goes. I'm not, no. No, I'm not voting for Kamala Harris and Usher is and I'm still going to listen to Usher music. That's how it goes. Everybody, don't, if, if God wanted us all to be the same, he would have made us fucking robots. He gave us a mind to independently think on our own. And you're not going to scold me. You're not going to sit me down like you whooping my ass. And you explain to me why you, why you whooping my ass. All because of who I want to vote for. Um, No. That's not how it go with me. I can vote for whoever the fuck I want. Y'all got to stop bullying people. And this goes on on both sides. Stop bullying people into um into what they what they want to vote for. Like y'all just weird. That's all I just had to say. I just had to come chime in on this. Like it's just I'm I'm, I'm just so ready for November sixth to go on, so people can go on about their life, so people can just go on back to being them. You know, I'm tired of hearing if Trump get in, we going back and change. He taking this. I'm tired of hearing about Kamala. I'm just tired of hearing about all they asses. I am over it. Whoever wins, win. Do I think there's going to be a fair election? Hell no. Absolutely not. That's just my opinion. Do I think a lot of cheating going to be going on? Yes. Do I think the rightful soul person going to sit in that seat? No. <laughs> so, so brace yourself. Y'all be careful because people are out here doing stuff on both sides to make the other side look bad and doing stuff. So y'all be very careful. Be very careful at night too with night walking. Be careful your surroundings. Have a loaded gun and protection on you or some mace or something. Look at this. Let me show you something. I got this bear mace in, in, in my um, door. And I got one in my purse. And I also have a gun in my purse. Y'all be careful of y'all surround us. Like this election about to heighten up a lot of people. And I and I really believe if whoever, it's going to be something, whether Trump win or whether the Kamala win that people is going to head to the streets and start doing some crazy shit so pray for pray for y'all you know what i'm saying it's, it's not going to be that serious because the person that you want 
um, in office is not going to be there. That doesn't give you the right to try to take somebody life or harm somebody or do stuff to the other political opponent family or or just all this crazy shit. Like y'all just, it's, it's not that serious. This is why you don't depend on the government. I know people ain't never voted a day in their life and their life is perfectly fine. Rich as fuck. They just don't vote and get in, cop in politics. So just, just stop thinking that, um, that the world is gonna come to an end because your one little vote didn't count. Life is still gonna go on. Things still gonna go go on, go, go on how they gonna go on. That's pretty much all I had to say. Oh, y'all, I'm revamping my website. I'm about to come back totally, totally new and everything. It's gonna be better and better. More merch. I'm gonna start coming back on my channel more. I am gonna be coming on more since it's the election, but I'm really gonna be, you know, chiming in more on the. I gotta really stay up, caught up to date of what's going on in political. I've been all over the place with all kind of shit that's going on in my life. But hey, yeah, y'all, um, y'all go be easy. Y'all go take it easy. I'm gonna try to stay shut up. And you know, don't, don't get yourself, don't be out here arguing in the streets about who, who you voting for or who they voting for. Let people do whatever they want to do. Let people vote for whoever they want to vote for. Y'all don't have to be mad or bring violence to that. All right, y'all have a good day.